In order to calculate the beta of a stock, we need sufficient data of both that stock's prices and the prices of the market. And for the market, we're gonna use the S&P 500 index's prices. Um, so where I got these from is I just went to Yahoo Finance and I'm using SPY to approximate the S&P 500 index. So if you just go SPY, this will pull up. Then you can hit the historical data tab and I used 10 years of data. So I just went here, I changed this to um, 10 years earlier from today and just hit apply and then I selected download. And I did that for Intel as well. And when that pulls up in Excel, you'll just see a sheet like this and I just used the adjusted closed prices and pasted both in here. Now we need to find the um, price change for each day. So we'll just take the price for that day minus the price from the previous day and divide by the price from the previous day and that gives us the um, actual price change for that day. I'm gonna hit Control C on my keyboard and then Control down arrow to go all the way to the bottom and then Control Shift up and then Control V to paste. So now we've got um, price changes for the last 10 years. We can copy this formula over here, paste formulas, and then we'll just do the same series of uh, inputs on our keyboard and we will calculate the price change for every single day. Now there's two methods that are really easy to use for calculating the beta and I'll just go one by one. So we'll do equal slope and then, so it's asking for the known Y's. So the Y's is the uh, dependent variable, which is going to be whichever stock you're trying to measure. And then the known X's is going to be the um, independent variable, which will just be the market. So we'll select both ranges, hit enter. That tells us our beta for Intel is 1.184 for the past uh, 10 years. And then we can also use a different method, uh, covariance, variance method. So we'll do equals covariance P. And then first we will actually grab the Intel price range. And then after that, we'll grab the S&P 500 price range, so the market, and then we'll divide by uh, variance, uh, so var p, and then we'll again grab the S&P 500 index range, and that tells us the same beta of 1.184. If you'd like to use the video that I, or the file that I made in this video, uh, hit the automatic download link in the description, and I appreciate you watching, and have a nice day.